The smell of blood and festering limbs permeated the concrete walls of the Raccoon City Police Station. Once an art museum, the building was converted into a precinct at the heart of the city. But when evil took residence, the station showed one last terrifying exhibition. Corpses crowding narrow corridors, blood smeared on shattered windows, and festering flesh dripping down the stairs. If you haven't figured it out by now, today we are looking at Raccoon City Police Station, but this time we're looking at the West Wing. Now, if you're new to Dead by Daylight and you're not quite sure what these videos are all about, every single map has a large pool of possible totems that can spawn. Once the trial begins, the game will randomly select five of these totems and place them throughout the map. Our aim here is to show you each and every possible totem spawn that can show up on the map so you're better prepared whenever you need to boon something for a challenge or if you have to break a pesky totem that's just completely destroying your entire solo queue team. Um, we are going to split this video up into a couple different sections to make it easier for you to navigate. First, we're going to go through the lower totems on both the east and west side. Then we're going to go through the upper totems on the east and west side. And then finally, the main totems that's going to be in the central area. Um, before we get into this, though, I want to thank everybody who has supported the channel. We are on our goal to reach 500 subscribers by the end of the year. We are at just over 300. So if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that sub button. And without further ado, let's get into the totem spawns for Raccoon City Police Station, West Wing. The first totem we're going to look at on the lower section is going to be on the outside in the courtyard area, this first little hallway between the uh, sections. It's going to be between a bench and one of the broken dividers. Continuing on the lower section around the east side here on the outside, your next totem is going to be on the courtyard just before you get to the fire escape area. And this is before that wire metal door here that brings you back into the main building. Continuing in from the outside, we move first to the watchman's room and the totem here is going to be in the back right corner up against the RPD uh, blast barricaded door there. Should be pretty hard to miss. Moving out of the watchman's room, we go into the lower eastern hallway. Now this hallway splits up the lower east side into a couple different sections, but on the western map, most of it's blocked off. This first totem is right outside the watchman's room through the broken wall. Second totem in the lower eastern hallway is going to be right at the beginning of the hallway, uh, just outside the broken wall from the main area. And if you continue on to where interrogation would normally be, this totem is right there in the corner at the end of the hall. Going out of the hall and into the eastern office on the lower section, this first totem is actually going to be there about 85% of the time. So if you're having a hard time finding a totem, check out the eastern office behind the main desk and you're more than likely going to find a totem here because it just always spawns for some reason. Another totem that's going to be here in the eastern office and can also spawn at the same time as the one in the office itself is going to be towards the back end here between some desks and some file cabinets tucked away. This one might be a little hard to spot. The final totem that can spawn here in the east office is kind of between the two pallet loops here that are tied in here. Uh, it's tucked away behind a knocked over desk and two standing desks on the far back right side of the room. Moving from the east to the west, we're going to go to the first one here on the west side. And this is in lower reception, which is immediately to the left as soon as you enter. And the totem is in the back right uh, just before you get to the western office. Continuing in from reception into the west office itself on the lower section here, this totem is actually here about 90 to 95% of the time. And this is going to be in the actual office itself, tucked away behind the main uh, chief's desk here, captain's desk. Uh, so yeah, if you're hard, having a hard time finding a totem, good chance it's going to be here. Still inside the lower west office here, there's actually two totems that spawn here in the west office, and they can both spawn at the same time just like in the Eastern office. Uh, this one is right up against the staircase landing just as you enter, uh, tucked away in the corner right behind some weird machine here and in the corner. This one can be pretty easy to miss, so keep an eye out when you're here. 
Just outside the west office and continue down the hallway just a little bit, you'll come to the safety deposit room. Uh, this is the room with a bunch of lockers and stuff that need key cards and codes. This totem is all the way in the far back right corner just before the exit to this room. Going outside of the safety deposit room, you'll come to the dark room, which is this little small room that's blocked off by a lot of junk, but uh, in the corner tucked away is going to be a totem. This one can be hard to see if it's not lit, so pay attention. Going outside of the dark room is going to get you into the hallway, which connects a lot of the lower western side here. And in this intersection between the safety deposit room, uh, the records room, and the dark room is going to be a totem right up against a vending machine. And this one can be kind of hard to spot as well. Continuing down the hall toward the back side of the western uh, floor here, you're going to get to this back hallway that leads to the outside. And tucked away in a corner just before the outside is going to be a totem. This one's not too hard to spot as long as you go back here. The last totem we're going to look at on the lower here is going to transition us between the upper and lower floors. And it's going to be on the back staircase on the west end on the landing here. Tucked away in this corner of the landing is going to be a totem. Not too hard to miss, especially if it's lit. So keep your eyes open. Continuing up the stairs and down the hall, we come to the upper west uh, shower room and this is gonna be your first totem in the upper section of the totems and just as you enter into the showers right next to the lockers is gonna be your totem tucked in this corner here right next to the wall this can be kind of hard to uh, spot when it's not lit going outside the showers down the hall you come into the upper west stars office now this totem is here 100% of the time there is not a single game I did where this totem did not spawn so if you need just one totem Go here first. This totem's always here, but be quick because someone else might have beaten you to it. Going outside the star's office down the hall, you'll come up to the linen room, which has washing and dryer, a bunch of towels, and a totem tucked away right here at the entrance as soon as you come in here on your right. There's actually a second totem here in the linen as well. If you go further back, uh, right as you exit on the right hand side is going to be your second totem. This one might be hard to spot if you're just passing through, so just keep your eyes open. Going outside the linen and around the hall is gonna bring us to the upper lounge. This is just before the drop off to reception and it'll feed into the library. Just before you get into the library is gonna be a totem right next to two little wooden chairs. Pretty easy to spot. The final totem on the west side here is gonna be in the library. Uh, there is one totem that I found on the western portion of the map and that is going to be just before the hole tucked away in a corner as soon as you enter in from the balcony take a right and then take another right and it's going to be tucked away here in the corner the first totem we're going to look at on the upper east side is going to be in the chief's office this is as soon as you get up the main stairs take a right and you'll see this little secret door opening and right in your face right up against the back of the desk is going to be the totem Immediately leaving the chief's office, you're going to head into the upper eastern hallway, and this is going to connect a lot of the upper eastern rooms. This first totem is going to be immediately outside the back of the chief's office, tucked away next to a couch and some of the debris that blocks off the rooftop access. Continuing down the hall here on the upper east side, uh, go past the first door and around the corner tucked away in some debris is going to be a totem. This one's pretty hard to miss. So you should spot it pretty easy if it's there. Continuing through the hallway, we're going to make our way to the first of the upper east rooms. And that's going to be the private collection room. This one is most notable because it has a little gated off closet. This first totem is just outside next to some boxes up against the wall. Continuing in the private collection room, there's actually a second totem here. And uh, whereas the first one was outside of the wired off closet, this one is actually inside up against the chair and right next to the coat rack. Pretty easy to spot if you get yourself in the room. Exiting from the private collection room, we go into the waiting room. This is also accessed from the upper balcony. The first totem here is going to be uh, behind the couch as soon as you enter in from the balcony, uh, just before the drop down. Staying inside the waiting room, there's actually a second totem. And this one is actually just going to be right as you enter immediately to the left from the balcony or to the right if you come in from the private collection next to the coffee vending machine. 
going outside of the waiting room and across the hall, we enter the art room. This one has a bunch of statues and boxed up art, but also a totem. Now this totem is right up against the broken wall as soon as you enter in from the hallway, tucked in a corner, and can be kind of easy to miss if you're not looking for it, so keep your eyes open. Going outside the art room and continuing around the hall, you'll come to the Eastern Fire Escape. Now this one has a few totems. This first one is if you come up the fire escape, it's to your right, and if you come down the hallway, it's to your left, and it's right behind this flatbed cart with some luggage on it. The second totem here on the Eastern Fire Escape on the upper level is gonna be still in the hallway, but you have to go all the way around to the blocked off section just before you would normally come to the rooftop access and the crashed helicopter. Tucked away in all this debris and the fire is gonna be your totem. The final totem on the upper side here, which is also gonna be on the Eastern Fire Escape, is actually on the outside on the fire escape itself. So as soon as you exit, look to the right just before you get to the uh, vault or the stairs and you should see it. The first main totem we're gonna look at here is actually gonna be outside right in front of the exit gate uh, to the main entrance here. As soon as you leave, it's gonna be to your right, tucked away in a corner right behind the doorway. Moving inside to the main chamber here immediately from the exit, you take a left and uh, right next to the storage area with medical supplies and shelving units is going to be your next totem here in the main section. Continuing from the main entrance down the staircase is going to be your next totem behind the uh, reception desk. This one's tucked away between some of the desks up against the back wall to the mid section. Pretty easy to spot. Going past the lower section of the main area, past the reception desk, and up the first set of ramps, we come to the middle section of the main area. And the first totem here is going to be on your left side towards the west side, and immediately to your right behind the medical wall is going to be your totem. Continuing into the main section here, uh, in the middle section, the middle level, is going to be your next totem. Now, in a lot of these videos, I say bullshit boxes, and this one's no different because these boxes hide this totem if it's not lit very well. So keep an eye out, it might be here. Moving out from the lower and mid section, we move to the upper section of the main area. And the first one we're gonna look at is on the east side or the right side as soon as you're looking up, the balcony here. If you go all the way down to the very end of the balcony on the east side, you're gonna find a totem tucked away in a corner right next to this table. This one can be pretty easy to miss if you're just running around being chased and not looking for it. All right, now don't worry guys, we're almost there. The penultimate totem here on the Western balcony on the upper section of the main room. If you go all the way down to the end, this one is not like the Eastern one and it's not gonna be up against the wall. It's actually gonna be up against the vault or drop down area, depending on which one you get tucked away. This one can be pretty easy to miss as it's pretty well hidden. All right, before we get into the last totem, I just want to thank everyone who made it this far. And if you made it this far, you might as well give this video a like since it seems like you like it. Uh, also, let me know down below if I missed anything, uh, anything you liked, anything you didn't like. But yeah, the last totem is going to be right here at the upper level right next to the statue. So as always, we love you all very much and stay safe out there in the fog.